I think this is pretty good for my 50th haul. Lately, I've been opening my toys without doing an actual haul video. And it's been a while. It hasn't actually been that long. This is the one that's numbered, haul number 50. I don't know if it was special enough. It's kind of special in the way that I say that this is my last one. Now, it's not going to be the last toy I bought, but I think I really am at a point where I realize that I've gone too far. From my last shopping experiences, I've actually taken back some of the stuff that I bought. There are some other things coming that kind of go with this, but let's just get this over with right now. I want to get a lot of these things reviewed too. I should start with these boxes. I found out that there's a box store and they sell like, I don't know, misprints on boxes and stuff. This is some plastic company. I don't know. I just bought 30 of these to replace the old ones that I moved with that are just all different shapes and sizes. If you want to store things, a good thing to do is to get all of the same boxes. So, and sometimes this company has more. So if I need more than 30 of these, which is crazy, I know, and I have more stuff than that, I don't know if I'm gonna need more or not, but I think that they keep this kind in stock so I can go back and get more if I need them. That's the first thing. 30 of these, they're huge, and I've got about 10 filled with toys already. Anyway, I'm opening up this room and I'm gonna put the stuff in my closet and not use my walk-in closet as a walk-in closet. Ideally, I need to get another room for just toys. That could happen in the future. I don't know, I'm gonna have to see. Let's look in here and see what I got. These Grocery Gang figures, I found these at Walmart. They had this one set. They have more on the back. I have a feeling that I stumbled upon the full set and that some of them are not released yet. So I got six of these. Let me show you them. They're like Grocery Gang, little minis. They actually come with one, but they're actually action figures. And they remind me of an old, I think it's a 90s line called Food Fight which were food dressed up as soldiers. But anyway, I think these are cool. This is the first new action figure in a long time that I have been drawn to. So I just bought every one they had. Walmart was clearing a lot of stuff. They were clearing new things. They were clearing old things. They get so confused when they're having giant flips. All of the stores are flipping their toy inventory for the Christmas holidays. This was a dollar. It's made out of wood. I do have a baby toy wood collection in one Rubbermaid bin. I have these environmental collection. One day I'll show you that. I really like a wooden toy. So every time I stumble upon something like that for a dollar, I'm definitely going to get it. It's really heavy, really nice quality. This is the mistake that Walmart made. This is the new series one. They started all over again. I saw these in stores and I really wanted to get them. I think they were around $22 or something. Well, at Walmart, they were 18. So these were half price. These were $9 each. I scooped those up because they're brand new and Little's Pet Shop's looking super duper cute now. This I wanted for a long, long time. It is the only time that I know about that Bubble Guppies got an actual action figure. They make figures with little wheels on the bottom. I don't really like them. This is like the first Bubble Guppy figure and such a great review for the pool. It's a cute boat. It's been on clearance for quite a while, but it went even lower. So I finally got it. This I found at Toys R Us. One of my least successful reviews on YouTube are these Mickey and the Roadster Racer toys. I think these are amazing. Just the style of that car and the colors and they're like tough gas station toys. I love them. I love this series. I have a Pluto coming in from Fisher Price quite soon. Before the flip had started or around the beginning of when the flip was starting, I found these just randomly on the shelf and something told me to check the price on them. They scanned at $2 each. I snatched these up. I see that this is the brand new packaging. They're $12 or $13 now on the shelf at all of the other Walmarts. $2. 
I don't know what possessed me. They weren't even in some weird section or anything. Something said, you need to scan those, Jason. I don't know if I showed you these in my last haul. I'm pretty sure I didn't. The latest series of DC Super Friends is really cool, and I'm really happy to find this Aquaman, and I thought I may as well get this tornado while I was at it. I've reviewed the other two from that set already. Check out that review. A couple days before I found this on sale, I had said, if I ever find this on sale, I have to get it. A couple days later, bingo. Really cute, really cute plane with a face. I think that she would be really fun to play with. Just play figures such as PJ Masks and Paw Patrol would be fun. I just, it's the right three inch scale toy that I love so much would be great in my Ghostbusters firehouse as well. I had always wanted to get this watch. It went down to about $15. It was the best price I ever found on it. I kind of waited and said, oh, maybe I'll get it cheaper one day. I have the first series of figures. However, this showed up at my Dollarama for $4. That's the maximum price that something costs at the Dollarama. But not only did they have that, they had another wave of figures. So I do have the first one. This might be the second wave. I don't know. But I got a few figures of these and those were $2 each. So a very good price. Also at the Dollarama, they got Barbies. They are the beach ones. I usually avoided these ones because of the molded bodies, but for $4, I mean, they're usually $5 at Walmart, but I'm saving money here and I thought that they would make a really good pool review. However, they do have two other ones. They have Steven and this girl in blue and those ones weren't at any of the Dollaramas I went to. I don't know if they're really short packed or perhaps maybe they're not in this case assortment. I meant to go around and check more, but I went to about five, and I've only ever seen varieties of these. They sold out really quickly. The completest in me really wants to get the others. I do have him already. Just a little random thing that I found for half off $7, so $3.50. I always wanted a Red Hulk. More Walmart toys. So this guy came out. My Life. Mini dolls. So dolls for your dolls. You can get another boy. They have a few new ones. And they also have costume packs for them. I don't know if I'm a big fan of the My Life boys, but I kind of like them. And now I don't have to get the giant one because I can just get one of these mini ones. You can get these green glassed ones in large size now. They're the latest wave of them. They do make some great clothes that actually fit on my Baby Alive boys. This should be in this haul, but I already opened him. Check out my review of the latest Baby Alive boy that I got from Target. I had to order it from Target because I'm only seeing the darker complected in the blonde here in Canada. I also ordered this, which I believe is a Target exclusive. So that came from Target. Maybe I showed this in my last haul. I don't think so. For me to get free shipping from Target, I needed to spend $100. So I did throw her in as well, even though she is available here in Canada. She's the best one because she's a full doll with clothes, no molded on parts. So I actually took back the one that came with R2-D2 in the molded pants. And I think online I've just seen that there's going to be another R2 and Leia release and she's wearing the full white robe. And these two things also, I know that these are Target exclusives. These were like under $10 each. It rounded off my $100 free shipping and I got some really cool things. Now I have to hunt down the ones that I didn't pick up, Laguna and Cleo, which I have hidden in a couple stores. So hopefully if I do visit those stores, I will be able to find them. Uh, the Claudine playset might be a little more difficult to come by considering that is also a Target exclusive and they do not have that available online for purchase. This came in from Mattel, which we do have this in Canada, but it was for me to be able to get this Abby. I took her out of the box and I showed her in a live stream. Be sure to check out that video where I take a look at all of the cool details of her. She is awesome. I definitely recommend picking her up. She will be available from Amazon in November, but right now at Mattel.com. I also got all of these from Mattel. This is the 
very last Ever After High stuff for me to get. I never got these two styles in one sets. And I also picked up this set and I do have the other one. Where's the Frankie one? You can see that up there. And this actually is the most current Ever After High thing to get. So I had to pick up that as well. This is an awesome set. I can't wait to get the other back to school girls. I think that's what they're calling it. It says back to school. It's a lot of older items that they've included. It was a good haul. A lot of these reviews are already up. Tell me which things you want me to review if you haven't seen them reviewed yet. Like, comment, and share this video. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. I think this is pretty good for my 50th haul, and I've learned a lot of lessons over this time. While I'm sorting through my toys to put them in these boxes, I'm also choosing things to either sell or trade or give away or have contests with too, I guess. Once we get to 5,000, I think I will do some contests.